Welcome back to the positive side. As we bring you the special baseball edition, we all know what it's like to see a father in the stands watching his son compete. But what happens when your father is away from the field and he is creating things that absolutely look lifelike? 35 years of painting baseball for those that play the game. I guess I'll never know because I never played the game. And for you, you didn't play the game, Vernon. Your son plays the game. You were catching passes in football. What made you decide to become one of the premier artists in this country? Well, as far as the baseball part goes, I should have chosen baseball over football. I played both, but chose incorrectly when I had to make a decision which way to go. And when I realized nobody was going to pay me enough money to make a living catching passes, mm -hmm. I started painting the guys who were being paid to do it. And eventually I switched sports to baseball, where the guaranteed contracts are, and I'm just 35 years later still doing it. What makes your images so unique? I've been told it's, it's the attention to detail, mm -hmm. and, and being a former player, I know what, what players like about themselves, how they look in a photograph or mm -hmm. in a painting. Because these are so real-like, right. you want to just touch them. Exactly. It, it's like they are really, the, the people do everything but actually move. Right. They've been confused for photographs before. Oh yeah, which absolutely. Which is flattering until some people think that I'm actually trying to pass off photographs as paintings. <laughs> you know, and, and I welcome them to, to come to my studio anytime and actually watch the process. You know, Vernon, as I, I flip through this, and uh, every year we get a chance to see some of the newer images and stuff, but uh, when you take like Josh Hamilton, knowing what his life and his career has, and personally what he's been through, yet you reflect him in a way that really tells a story. That was the exact idea. Josh and I have become very close over the last couple of years, and uh, it, it's, you know, when you look at my work, you're supposed to see more than just a ball player. So I'm, I'm hoping that I, I can convey that in most of the pieces I do. You know, the big hurt, when I see the big hurt, I mean, just to see his arms, all right? And, and just see the veins running down his neck. Right. I mean, you know he's the big hurt without even seeing it. Exactly, exactly. well that's, that's the goal. That's the goal, and hopefully that's what's kept me around this long. You know, you've done some special editions, the 2006 American League uh, Gold Glove team, uh, the 2017, the 2010 National League Gold Gloves. Uh, is it difficult when you're, you're taking a combination of guys and you're, you're blending them all into one, one image? You know, as far as getting the different images of different guys from different teams and whatever, I think that's what guys like. I mean, if you if you want a gold glove, then you want to be in the same group picture with mm -hmm. the other guys who want a gold glove that same year. And uh, I've, for several years now, I've done a painting of those guys as a group, and each year one of those guys has, has bought the original. So that you know, that's one of the few things that I do that's not commissioned before I actually paint it. Vernon, when you look back at some of the things that you've done over the years, 35 years is a long time, are there certain images that stick out in your mind and you just go, wow, when I'm all said and done, oh, that's unbelievable. I got a chill just seeing it. Well, you know, it's like doing paintings is like having kids. You can't really choose a favorite, you know, because you spend as much time on each of them. Just some of them are more famous than others. You know, as a dad and your son's a professional baseball player, obviously it gives you also an extra incentive because you're traveling around, you're in the same world as your son. How exciting is it to watch your son over the years and watch the sport change? Because you know the personality of guys have changed a lot. It's a corporate world now. Right. Without the sponsors, we don't have a game. That's true. And you know, my kid has been a, been a good ambassador for the game. You know, he's never going to get in trouble. You know, you can count on him. You know, other than injuries, which nobody can control, he's been exactly what he was purported to be from day one. You know, and then baseball needs guys like that. I mean, he's not the only one guy like that. There's plenty of them. But the guys that get in trouble and they're baseball players, everybody wants to gravitate toward that. You know, we need to have more light shined on the guys that, that are good guys. This segment has been brought to you by Learner and Row. Had a wreck?